You love tea? Yes, I love All my right, tea. All right, so. I love my tea. As I continue enjoying it, my director, you know, the gallery is going crazy. Everyone's like, we want one, we want one. <laughs> So I want us to do something. So you're good at this, no doubt, you yeah. know. I can't even beat you, you know, in anything that you've done. I appreciate it. Thank so you. It's that, but it's good that way. So I want you to come and have a taste. <laughs> of what you do. Of, a, of what I do. And okay. so work with me. Time to okay. read the news and okay. see if you can have an alternate, alternate career. Let's see. So let's go. So as I enjoy my <laughs> mug cake, which is so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> okay, do I have to see? Sit? Yeah, yeah. Of course, you have to sit. Okay, I'm so no, sorry. Where are you gonna sit? I'm, I'm not gonna sit. You sit. Okay, so I'm the news anchor. You today. are the news anchor, <sighs> and so you have to give. Mm. You know, you have to throw in some charisma. You have to throw in. You know how you throw in that. You know, some chocolate and you know, desiccated coconut. So you throw in some charisma, some authority, mm -hmm. um, some charm. All right, mm -hmm. and you know, throw it in there. So introduce the story for us. And uh, but first, by start by introducing yourself. So where do I read? Do I read as from I here? No, 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 no. You read from there. I read from there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. right. As I enjoy my. So stuff. my Kenya Chef Association hat is gonna go on the side. <laughs> I'm and canal. All right, enjoy. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so I read from there, mm. <laughs> and I start to introduce myself. Mm. How, do, how does it, how does the news anchor sit like that? <laughs> so when do I start? No. Hi guys, my name is Chef Ali La Artist, Global Ambassador, Kenya Chefs Association, and of course representing my country. So today we are at the Friday briefing, right? Good, and now I read. So during long holidays, such as the December break, parents are often at a loss on how to ensure that their children spend their holidays in a constructive e manner. Many are forced to either stare at the television, sit all day, or form freely in the estates in Kenya, Nyeri County. A first of its kind, Art Camp is providing an opportunity for children to enjoy their holiday by drawing, painting, and having fun. KTN's Carol Nderi visited the Art Camp to bring us the following story. Activity characterizes the mood here in this hall at the Nyeri National Museums. The studious little faces pour over their paperwork, lost in deep concentration. Every detail counts. How does mine look? Yet, even as the little ones go over their work in this seemingly serious manner, there is lots of fun and good cheer to go around. This is an art camp aimed at harnessing the artistic talents that children might harbor but lack a forum or an opportunity to cultivate them further. Besides the main aim of the camp, to nurture talents such as drawing and painting, the children are also taught to appreciate the environment by being creative and using discarded material to create beautiful forms. Take these discs and bottles for example. They might seem useless but the children have turned them into aesthetic objects. The art camp is a brainchild of Rachel Gitao of Usani Art Kenya who collaborated with the National Museums of Kenya in central Kenya. Rachel says many times during holidays such as the long December break, children do not engage in active useful activities and instead participate in passive activities such as watching television all day. This, she says, not only makes them lazy and kills their creativity, but also makes them vulnerable to lifestyle diseases due to lack of physical activity. So to Kasema, why can't we just convert this to a particular to fun ya kufanya, that is also developing them in talent and mentally, and then pia tupate wakatiwa who are mental, yeah, tunongia na wao, unawaskiza, you know the issues that they are going through. That has been scrapped off from school. So when kids are really missing out and there's a huge talent, I'm sure you've seen from the work that they've done, there's a huge talent out there. During holidays such as these, children often find themselves idle and therefore it is important to harness their talents and creativity so that they do not find themselves immersed in activities that they shouldn't be in, in the first place. The camp, a first of its kind in Nyeri, drew children aged between 5 years to 15 years for a week. Moving forward, the organizers hope to hold such camps every school holiday and are calling on other stakeholders in other fields such as music, acting and sports to do the same. Organize camps where the children can while their time away during holidays and engage in useful ventures. 
napenda kuchora na na kukimbia ninapenda kuchora naenda ngariara Joel Karioki is an art teacher in Nyeri and through art he says he is able to make a living and feed his family he urges other parents not to downplay talents such as drawing and other forms of art as these can form careers for their children Juzi tumeona watu wengi sana watu wengi sana ambao wanachora picha wanauza kama shilingi 1200 1300 na kipawa kama hicho kikipotea kama saa hii watoto kama hawa wataingia mambo ya ulevi parents at home have also been urged to assist their children spend their time wisely during holidays and at the same time let them have good fun for that is what the holidays are for anyway carol derry kate news nyeri county